Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about the cartoon, The Max. The Max is one of those awesome cartoons like Aeon Flocks that was released in MTV in 1995. And it is beautiful, freaking amazing. The story is complex and detailed, so I may not be able to explain the intricacies of the plot or the characters because it is a lot and yeah so why not start with the art style the art style is unique it it changes the way it's drawn um it rotoscopes it becomes a cartoon it's super simplified or super complex but it does it to keep you interested to ex add to the story element and I miss that in animation um, it is ugly but it has a purpose it has a flair because it is ugly and yeah I miss that I miss that so much everything doesn't have to be perfect and cut lines and stuff like that I love the dialogue in this and not having to do with the plot but everything is poetic the main character talks to himself and he confronts everything and questions everything and because of that it's pre it comes out pretty intellectual and i enjoy that it was like food and nourishment for me i'll say the series is pretty dark but it likes to deal with themes about um kids insecurities and a lot of stuff that kids in the streets deal with and broken homes and broken situations and how depression will break you apart and make little problems into big problems and how little problems are really big problems and that was so cool to see even though I understood it I saw it and didn't help me through my life but it was really cool to actually see this um, aspect showing up because my god this this was me man when I was young the main character is this homeless guy and he's you think he's going crazy and whatnot but it I, I really don't know but is this homeless guy and in his mind he thinks he's a superhero and he's saving the day and he's this girl's white knight and this girl is his warrior princess but I don't know if it's his crazy mind or yeah but the world doesn't see him like that and she doesn't see him like that either and it's pretty freaking cool and the really cool thing aspect about this is that his greatest fear is if she leaves him or if she just leaves in general he will disappear he is just a figment of her imagination and he's dealing with this self-doubt this personality that he is nothing without her literally and that was so freaking cool to see that mindset in take a physical form it is there's so many things because if i break down every single character i mean there's the the friend with the black hair with the glasses she has an awesome storyline um uh, story arc it's I'll say if you if you like um, psychological and like um, hmm, if you like psychology and how the human mind works, you will love this uh, cartoon because it brings a lot of those aspects masterfully, masterfully and intelligently and brings them out in a beautiful color cartoon and stuff like that. But it brings out those issues and it doesn't give you the answer. It just brings them out so you could see it and make your own. Um, thought about what your I, your personal opinions are on the matter oh man this is uh, actually getting kind of line um, the female the main female character she is a wonderful person um, she's must have been like my very first real crush and it brought me to a world that I didn't you see these girls they, I'll call them street girls and whatnot, and you're learn to not like them and they're bad but then you realize with the show that they're people too and they're beautiful people and just because they're dressed or they look away doesn't mean 
you should judge them upon that and it was so cool to see this strong female character that wasn't strong wasn't beautiful and it was just real and that's the whole thing like this is grimy gritty realism and you don't see that anywhere else and for that i love this cartoon and it will always have a place in my head and the crazy scenarios man in the dark rituals there's so much good stuff if you every episode is like 10 minutes and it only has like 12 Accessible, so I will. If you're anywhere interested in the art style or the message or anything, just check this out. Just give it a, a try because it is insane and is seriously missing in today's age. And if there are other stuff like that, let me know because I'll I'll love to see more stuff like this. All right, peace, guys.